In this lesson, we are going to apply the angle mate to the parts that you see on the screen. Now you may find from time to time when you apply the angle mate that it does not position the part in the direction or angle you thought it was going to go in. That's easily fixed with a couple options inside of the angle mate command and we'll work through those as we apply it. So let's begin. We're going to start by adding a coincident mate between the end face of this pin and the face of the upper U bracket. I'll verify coincident and then select the green check mark. Next, we're going to apply a concentric mate between the face of the pin and the face of the hole. Verify concentric and once again, select the green check mark. I am going to move this part out of the way just so it's a bit easier to see what we're working with here. Now we are going to add an angle mate between the top face of the square block and the top face of this lower U bracket. So I'm going to select the top face of the square block, the top face of the lower U bracket, and notice it goes to parallel. However, we are going to select angle. I am going to set this angle at 45 degrees. And if we move the pop-up toolbar out of the way, you will see this is what we were looking for. However, if you wanted 45 degrees to head off in the other direction, we do have a flip dimension button. Notice it's 45 degrees in the opposite direction. We also have the flip mate alignment. And using that, along with the flip dimension button, you'll notice between the flip mate button and the flip dimension button, we have four possibilities. So I am going to unselect this, and this is the preview I am looking for. Now we're going to apply a 60 degree dimension between this face of the upper U bracket and the top face of the square block. Once again, I'll select the angle, but this time I am going to make all of these settings over in the property manager. So I am going to type 60. Now on this angle, I want the 60 to head off in this upward right direction. Right now, it's going back into the left. So in the pop-up menu, we had the flip dimension and the flip mate alignment buttons. Over in the property manager, we have the two mate alignment buttons along with the flip dimension. So if I select the other mate alignment, that is not what I am looking for. So I am going to put a check mark and flip dimension. That is what I am looking for. But before I close out of this, realize that we have four possibilities. With the flip dimension checked, you see this preview. With it unchecked, you see this preview. If we change the mate alignment with the flip dimension unchecked, here's our third preview. And now with the flip dimension checked, we see the fourth preview. So I am going to go ahead and return it to what I am looking for and close out of the angle property manager and the mate property manager. And now we have our finished part. So the angle mate is often used on many assemblies and just be aware that you may have to flip the part in order to get the view that you are looking for.